everybody doing? Hello, everybody. Hello from Manasquan. I am at my house in New Jersey for a quick uh, trip. Michael had a business meeting up north, and so we were able to sneak away together for 36 hours, so we decided to take it. Um, we went on a, a date last night and had the absolute best time. When I tell you that we had the best time last night, I cannot remember a time where Michael and I have had so much fun on a date. Like, fun. Um, so, just so you know, if you um, are on my page and your profile picture is a naked woman, I'm going to block you. Not because I don't like naked women, but I just don't. It makes me feel weird. Um. Anyway, um... So I have not been on Coffee Talk for the last day and a half or two days because yesterday, as you know, Facebook and Instagram were down the whole day. Um, shout out to everybody who was actually more productive and got a bunch of stuff done. Um, but, and I was traveling and up since four o'clock in the morning yesterday um, or five o'clock, either way, so early or four o'clock. Um, and... Um, like I said, in New Jersey for 36 hours, Michael and I fly home tomorrow. We've got a soccer game we need to go catch, maybe two. Um, and uh, 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 uh. I wanted to just tell you guys a story about um, a friend's son and a seatbelt. So... Um, you know, we oftentimes, we bring life experience or certain awareness to advice we want to give people, right? We, we, you know, a lot of times when we sit down with, I don't know what the buzzing sound is. I don't hear a buzzing. Is the sound messed up? It's like if I don't use my ear pods, there's a weird sound. I don't know what it is or why so bizarre um is there a buzzing sound a little Let's see if i put this in hopefully with my ear pods it's better let me know if this is better is this better um is it better with the ear pods in? Uh, I know, but I don't like that there's buzzing at all. How annoying. Get your shit together, Facebook. They can't get their shit together. Honestly, I'm so mad at Facebook. Um, right now, ugh. all right, so anyway, a lot of times when we give perspective or advice to somebody, we do so because we've had experience, whether it's personal experience with a situation or people that we know, right? So I have a friend whose son refuses to wear his seatbelt. He's 19 years old. He doesn't wear a seatbelt. And um, he just believes wholeheartedly that most car accidents are fender benders and he can't stand the seatbelt. It makes him claustrophobic. He hates it. And he's like, every time I drive with it on, it makes me claustrophobic. All I can do is feel the seatbelt on my chest. And I'm like, but you don't understand. It really could save your life. And his point was, okay, I hear you, but most accidents are fender benders. Most accidents are not fatalities. So the chances of me dying in a car crash are so slim to none. And I'm like, but why would you even chance it? So I'm, tell I'm on Coffee Talk telling them about a friend's son who 
I'm tell, I'm explaining to him, Mary just walked in. He's 19 and he doesn't wear a seatbelt. So she and I were talking and he, he came in the room and she was like, Jamie, tell him to wear a seatbelt. And he was like, hear me out. It makes me claustrophobic. I can't stand the feeling of the belt on my chest. And he's like, and most car accidents are fender benders. Like 90% of car accidents are fender benders. So I'm like, but the 10% or whatever the percentage is of fatalities or God forbid worse than that, that you go, maybe you kill someone else, whatever, but that doesn't impact your, your thing. But what if you're paralyzed? Like, what if it, you know, and he's like, you guys, I get it. Your mom's, it's your job to worry. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, he's 19. It's his car. He pays for the insurance. He pays for the car. Like, I can't tell him what to do. Here's the thing. It is, we cannot force people to do things they don't want to do. We can present them with the facts. We can present them with statistics. We could present them with medical backup, science. You could present, you could let them speak to somebody uh, that's been in a car accident with no seatbelt and is now paralyzed. You could let them, if they don't want to make the choice for themselves, and I'm only using this as an excuse to say, typically when we try to persuade someone to make a choice, it's because we've had experience with that situation, or we know some, somebody that has, or we just really feel strongly convicted about it. The one thing my girlfriend has on the side for her is it's the law to wear your seatbelt. So, and he's like, so I'll get a ticket. He doesn't care. So, so here's the thing. You can't, I'm going to tell you something about me. And I know you all are going to be angry with me. People have been trying to get me to wear sunscreen since sunscreen became all the rage. I grew up in the 80s. We put sun, we put oil, baby oil on our skin. Like I might put on 15 at the beach, but you're not going to get me to cover my body in 50 SPF. Like you're not. And I know a lot of people who are disappointed. My dermatologist yells at me all the time. My husband's had skin cancer. My father had skin cancer. I know. I put it all over my children. I've taught them from a young age that it's so important that they protect themselves from the sun. Um, no, he clicks the seatbelt behind him so the dinging goes off. Oh, no, he don't want the dinging. No, no. Um, and if he sees a cop, he pulls it over him, over himself real quick. I'm like, oh, you got it down to a science. He's like, I don't text and drive. He gives me all the reasons why he doesn't need a seatbelt. I'll give you all the reasons why I don't wear sunscreen. It's why I look like an ap dried apricot. Okay. It's why my, I have sunspots all over my face. I know what it is. I, I fully understand that if I wore at least a 30 or a 40 on my face, that I would be protecting my face from further damage. I make the choice I make. Willingly, knowingly, it, it, you know, it, it is what it is. I would recommend to all of you that you wear sunscreen. I know it is the right thing to do. <laughs> Mary's left. <laughs> I'm just saying. Right. I know, but you know how many people hear me? Like, I get it. I know the frustration. Sometimes I will put on sunscreen. Sometimes I will. If I feel like I'm burning, I'm like, all right, give me the sunscreen. Then I'll put it on. But typically, no. If I go out for a walk for an hour, um, I don't wear sunscreen. People at the soccer field are like, oh, my God, I got to get on the sunscreen. I'm like, girl, what? Get out of my way. I'm trying to get all the rays, okay? It's terrible. Um, you know, it's the same thing with with medicine. Vaccines. You can lead a horse to water. You can present them with information. If they don't want it, they're not getting it. You could stand on your head. You could do ramalama ding dong. You could do the funky chicken. If somebody doesn't want to get vaccinated, I don't care how many facts you post. I don't care if... Fauci himself 
does the moonwalk across their front porch, they're not going to get vaccinated. Period. People are going to do what they want to do. So I'm like, if you don't want to wear your seatbelt, I am going to tell you why I think you should. And then I'm going to leave it alone because like, you cannot beat a dead horse. This child is not going to wear his seatbelt. He doesn't. He he's like, look, the chance of me being in a fatal car accident is like one percent in his mind. OK. OK. OK, well, Samara, don't get me started because I will get on you about not taking care of your son. She said, I, I'm a type two diabetic and I don't take care of it. I know, Mar no, Mary's too close to diabetes. You can't tell her because she'll get on here and start. <laughs> now she's coming for you, girl. She's about to get on and come for you. Um, you just have to make decisions that are right for you and hope that people who love you maybe will follow by example, but you cannot... Um, I just, it will, so why do I share this with you? Because when I hung up the phone, I was stressed. I felt stress in my, in my molecules. I felt stressed that this young man won't wear his seatbelt. It was stressing me out. And what I realized was it was stressing me out because he wouldn't do what I think he should do. And that is... Um, that is a Jamie thing. It's not my responsibility to convince this young man to wear a seatbelt. I gave him my opinion on it. I told him why I think it's important. I reminded him it was the law and I moved on. And uh, Andrea, you have said a mouthful. She said, the sad thing is he probably goes to bed at night sleeping carefree while his poor mom is up losing sleep over his decision. A hundred million percent. So if there is somebody right now that you are stressed out because you are trying to convince them to make good decisions or do what you think they should do, I just want to tell you, you will stress your molecules. You really will. You will feel angst in your molecules. So say what you have to say one time, say it with love, come from a place of under, you know, let me meet you where you are. I love you. You're 19. You have your whole life ahead of you. You, you, you are, you're going to get married. You're going to have children. Like, please give yourself the best fighting chance. I understand that you could still die wearing a seatbelt. He, he reminded me of that 15 times. You know, there's still people who die wearing their seatbelt. Some people get worse injuries from their seatbelt. That was a big thing. I know, I know people. I know people I know people who have worse injuries from airbags and seatbelts than from what would have happened if they weren't wearing their seatbelt. I I got I got it. I know it. And and just to free myself up of the stress, I'm going to let you have that. Okay? Like the people who say to me like, "I know someone who got vaccinated and their head fell off and they grew a penis." Like, so I'm not okay. Look, you, that one had penis growing hormones and I protect, okay, let's move on. Because you can't get stressed in your molecules trying to convince people of shit. You just say what you want to say, you meet them with love and you move on. Boom. That's it. You don't want to wear a condom? Don't wear a fucking condom. I'm going to tell you why I think you should. But, it, but I, I, I'm not, not going to come put it on for you. Just like I'm not going to come click your seatbelt. You know what I mean? I'm not going to drag you into CVS to get vaccinated. I'm going to meet you where I am and say, like, I love you. And I don't want your vagina to burn. So you should use condoms. But I'm not, I, I, there's not, I'm not going to get stressed in my molecules beating you down about it. If you don't want, you know how many times I've had sex without a condom? Olivia, Max, and Charlie. That's three. <laughs> That's three. And look what happened to me. Okay. Um, Leah, Lori, Madison, you can still die wearing a seatbelt. Lori wants everyone to know you could still spread COVID-19 with the vaccine. Thank you for coming through, Lori. Thank God you didn't fucking remind us of that. 
Who feels better? Lori's reminder. Thanks, Lori. Guys, you could still die wearing a seatbelt. You could still get pregnant wearing a condom. I'm going to tell you to wear that shit anyway. Um, period. I'm just here to tell you, you can't stress your molecules. You just can't because then you're unhealthy. Then you're emotionally unwell. Following somebody around, go wear a condom, wear a condom, wear a condom, wear a condom. They're like, now I'm not wearing a fucking condom. Human nature is to be like, now I'm not. How many times was Eve told not to, not to talk to the serpent with the apple? Like, don't, should I, don't, should I? Chris um, Bonavides said she got her towels yesterday and she loved them. I love that. That makes me so happy. Thank you for ordering them. Gail Miller said she loves the towels. I love that. Thank you. Um, anyway, my, my whole point of sharing this is I spoke to this young man this morning and I was stressed. I was stressed and then I realized... I love my friend and I love her son. Here's my two cents. It's the law. It could save your life. But if you don't want to wear it, bro, I can't stress out my molecules. But I love you and I hope you wear your seatbelt. Period. Did you know you could still die in a car accident if you have your seatbelt on? Yes, we all knew that. We did. But we still don't wear it. The website to look at the towels. Mary will put it and I will um, pin it. Thank you. It's stateofstylejewelry.com. We just got more in. They should all be restocked. It's very exciting. Um, How did you become unpetrified to get the shot? Girl, I was never petrified. I ran so damn fast to get that damn shot. I was more scared of getting COVID. First of all, I don't like to be sick, to be honest. I really don't. I don't like to be sick because I have, not just because I don't like to be sick, but I have dead dad syndrome. I have seen a parent suffer. Look, Jerry Lynn said, my partner is in ICU on a ventilator right now. He refused to get vaccinated. I'm, I'm, I really am sorry. Lori said, my sister and my best friend both died wearing their seatbelts. I am so fucking sorry. Lori, I'm curious. Do you still wear your seatbelt? I'm just curious. Or are you like, fuck seatbelts? I'm, I'm asking seriously. Um, congratulations, you can still get COVID and die if you get the vaccine. Congratulations, you can still... Die if you wear your seatbelt. You can still die in a motorcycle accident if you wear a helmet. You can still, I mean, what the fuck am I supposed to say to that? You could still get skin cancer if you use SPF. Like, I'm aware. You could still get lung cancer if you don't smoke. Like, what do you want me to tell you? Um, Pro-choice, meaning a woman's right to choose. I love that. Lori is a woman for a woman's right to choose. We love that, Lori, because body autonomy is important and you should be able to make your own choices about your own body. Absolutely. Don't pierce my ears if I don't want my fucking ears pierced. Don't come into my uterus if I don't want you in my uterus. Like, get the fuck off my eyeballs, period. Yes, no abortion mandate. Agree, Lori, none. Mind your business. I love that. I love that. Um, Anyway, do I mind sharing what vaccine I got? Nope, I got the Pfizer one. Two of them. Gang, gang. And I'm getting the booster too. Try to jab me if I don't want it. Nope, absolutely not. I won't try to jab you if you don't try to touch shit on me. Let me make my own decisions. You make yours. But if you're not jabbed, I'm, I get to make the choice whether I come around you or not, period. I just don't, I just won't hang out with you like on a one-on-one level. I love you, but from over there. Um, yeah, I'm getting a booster. 
They could stick it in my eyelid. If a man wants to have 10 kids, he should be able to. Listen, and if he can carry 10, he should be able to have all 10. Um, okay, now y'all are just talking nonsense. Yo, now you get, now see, you're stressing my molecules. Stressing my molecules. Um, and I can't allow that to happen, and you shouldn't either. So my point is, this young man is not going to wear a seatbelt, but it isn't really about seatbelts. It's about meeting people where they are and saying like, okay, I love you. Here are my thoughts. And um, and now you have to make your own decision. Oh, I don't have a feeling about unvaccinated people, Lori. I love them. A lot of people I know are unvaccinated. I have no feeling, zero feeling other than I don't want to get sick. So I just don't hang out with them in close proximity. Don't try to twist my words to fit your fucking narrative. Keep your fucking narrative in your mouth, okay? I know you so badly want to be victimized because you've made a choice that I fully support. I'm just not going to break bread with you, period. Don't try to twist my words because it fits your shit. It's not going to happen. I don't care if you don't get vaccinated, period. That's your choice. Absolutely. I promise you I'm leaving it right here. If you don't want to, that is on you. And I'm not a nurse, Leah. I'm sorry, but I'm not a nurse. I don't have to take care of people on ventilators. That's not my job. I am terrible. Your immune system is perfect. I, Lori, you, Lori, are you the chosen one? Good for you. I'm not, I'm just saying, if you don't want to get vaccinated, don't. Nothing I say is going to change your mind. Nothing I say is going to change your mind. If you, nothing, I could let you see me get my booster. I could not wear my seatbelt, wear it. I could fucking put my seatbelt around my neck. I could cover myself in SPF. I could put condoms on my ears. If you don't want to wear SPF or wear your seatbelt or anything, you're not going to listen to me. Period. If, if I want to get If I want to, like, it's it's not my, okay, you know what? You can't talk to people who, you, y'all are missing a point. Some of you are missing the point because you don't really, it's not about a point for you. The kids, my kids have had the shot. My kids have had the shot. I've I've not hid that fact at all. My kids are vaccinated, and guess what? They can fly now. Don't tell anyone. Olivia walks around with keys stuck to her forehead. I think it's super cool. I didn't get any super. Mary, did you get super bone? Are you? Not Charlie, Olivia. Um, I love you guys very much. Truly. I do. Um it does not have, no, you don't have to do what I do. I don't wear sunscreen. Am I not here to tell you I make bad decisions too? I don't wear sunscreen. That's a bad decision for my health. Some people put so much sugar in their coffee that I'm like, what's going on? Charlie's not old enough to get vaccinated. Um, what's going on here? Are you putting coffee with your sugar or your sugar with your coffee? That's not a good decision. And then I'm like, you know what though? That's not my business. And if you ask my opinion, I'm going to say, you might want to put a little less sugar in the coffee because that much sugar is fucking you up. But how is the girl who doesn't use sunscreen on her dried shoe leather face in a position to tell anybody how to do anything? She's not, but she did have really good sex last night. So I did. I fucking, I'm just keeping it a hundred percent. And by the way, if you want to hang out, here's my thing. If you don't want to wear a seatbelt, you don't want to 
wear a seatbelt, don't ride in my car. Because if I get in a car accident and you die, I have to live with that. Okay? So I love you, but don't ride in my car on not seatbelted. First of all, I don't want to get pulled over. That's a whole thing. Second of all, I don't, I would feel terrible if something happened, right? Oh, Liz, you know what? I love this question. Why do you have to stay away from unvaccinated if you are fully vaccinated? Because I can still catch the virus. And although it may not make me sick, I could give it to someone I love and it may make them sick. And I would feel terrible if I made someone I love or even like um, sick. That's why. It's really that simple, period. But you can, yes, I know. But some people, I'm aware. But don't you, yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Period. That's it. Same thing with sunscreen. Jamie, you, yes, I know. Jamie, it can, yeah, I'm aware. But you want, no, I, I don't want shoe leather face, but here I am. Period. And that's how this young man was this morning. Leslie would like us to know that you can still get COVID and end up very sick vaccinated. You can still wear your seatbelt and end up paralyzed. Did you guys know that? Did you know that you can wear your seatbelt and still end up seriously injured? Seriously injured. You can wear your seatbelt and become disfigured, paralyzed. You can break your shit here. Fuck it. Don't wear your seatbelt. Fuck it. Go fuck all these rules. No seatbelts, no fucking SPF, no COVID, no condoms, no nothing. Personal choice, 100%. If you don't want to wear your seatbelt, girl, don't wear it. I, this is what I'm trying to tell you. I cannot convince you to do anything you don't want to do, period. That's, I, I believe me. Last night was so good. Y'all, we need a whole separate coffee talk about last night. I am not going to lie. It was, y'all, we didn't have condoms. I'm just going to keep it 100. I said, do you want to wear a condom? And he said, hell no. And you know what? I didn't argue. <laughs> I said, no SPF here. No condom there. You can still get cavities if you brush your teeth. <laughs> you can still get a yeast infection if you go to the gynecologist. You can still get breast cancer if you get mammograms. All the shit. So anyway, we're going to have a separate coffee talk. It's going to be pillow talk. It's going to be for grown folks. And I'm going to tell you all why last night was one of the most fun nights I have had with this man in 17 years. And he was drunk talking shit at the bar. And let me tell you, Michael in New Jersey is a whole other man. So if y'all, girl, talking shit to this dude at the bar last night, I was like, listen, let me, let me, listen, listen, this man said to me, let me explain something to you. And Michael said, oh my goodness. Turned his whole body like this man's about to say something to this woman. He has no idea who he's about to. And you remember that scene in Goodfellas where he goes, now you, you just can't leave. That's what it was. Michael was like, oh, she, oh, okay. Now you just can't leave. It was, we had the best time. He was, he was talking so much shit. I was like, oh my God, I was so about it. I have to tell y'all, I was here for it. This poor man, mm, 
look, we don't get a lot of those nights anymore because we're trying to race home, let the babysitter go at 1030 and somebody's, you know, I hear footsteps on the stair. I hear phantom steps. Phantom steps really does ruin sex. Okay. Cause you try to get sexy time and all of a sudden you're like, do you hear someone on the stairs? It's a real thing. It's like phantom crying when you would hear the baby crying, but they weren't. Um, so look, I love it. I love him. I'm super into it and I'm not going to lie to you. And I know this is more than you want to know, but I'm a little sore today <laughs> and I ain't mad at it. I am not mad at it. Like I walked a little straighter today. Like I came out here and he was out here and he was like, Hey babe. And I was like, you know what? You did that. I patted him on the back. And then I kind of limped myself over to make a cup of coffee. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just putting it out there. I'm key. I hope my mother-in-law is not watching because that's awkward. But if she is, good on you. Good on you. Um, anyway, I love you guys so much. Protect your cells, protect your molecules, meet people where they are. Don't try to change their mind. You won't. Don't get baited, okay? 